Army Veterans Memorial Arena. This is the home of the Binghamton Whalers, the Hartford Whalers affiliate of the American Hockey League. And we're set for our opening bout of the night, the NABF Super Bantamweight Championship between Tracy Harris Patterson and George Garcia. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. And like I said, these two are carbon copies of one another. The only difference, one half pound bigger in weight is Garcia. And the NABF rules are in effect tonight. The three knockdown rule. No standing eight count. Saved by the bell in the last round only. Ten point must system. Three judges will score the fight. The referee will not score the fight. And the ringside physician has the authority to stop the bout. Right now, let's go to our ring announcer, Ron Del Bono. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for 12 rounds for the vacant NABF Super Bantamweight title. Your referee is Arthur McCanty. Now introducing the principals. First in the red corner, he's wearing black trunks with white trim. He went in at an even 122 pounds, fighting out of Westminster, California. His professional record consists of 27 victories, four defeats, two draws, 12 by knockout. He is ranked number six, George Garcia. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the white trunks with the blue trim. He weighed in at 121 and a half pounds from New Paltz, New York. His professional record consists of 33 wins, two defeats, 24 by knockout. Ranked number three, Tracy Harris Patterson. You received your instructions early in the dressing room. I expect you to obey my rules. Good luck. Touch gloves. This one for the vacant NABF Super Bantamweight title. And it is an important championship. Both of these fighters, Super Bantamweight, realize how important that North American title is. It is only a step away, and both of these fighters realize that they are just one fight away from a world title. Tracy Harris Patterson in the white trunks with the blue trim, and George Garcia in the black trunks with the white trim. 32 years of age is Garcia, 25 years of age, Patterson. Garcia coming back. In 1989, he's had three bouts. He's won all three. Prior to that, he took two and a half years off, Sean. Well, he's uh, taken the, the time off before because he took a year and a half off back in 1985. And after the time off, he came back, knocked out in the 11th round, Oscar Muniz, well-known fighter. So he's done this before. Now, since coming back to sec after his second layoff, that was two and a half years, he took a 10-round decision over Jesus Cole. His last bout was a 10-round decision over Jorge Rodriguez. Solid right hand landed by Tracy Harris Patterson. This first round isn't it's so important. You try to establish the tempo of this fight. In this first round, it's Garcia with that left jab. Patterson won his last bout November 3rd, 1989. Third round TKO over Lee Cargo in Poughkeepsie. Nice right hand by Patterson. And every time Patterson scores with a good shot, you're going to hear this crowd. Well, he's from New Paltz, New York. Not that far away. A couple of hours. Garcia from the West Coast. And Patterson scores in the first round impressively. To the body goes Tracy Patterson. And some heavy scoring by Patterson. And that woke up George Garcia. He's coming back with uh, some scoring, too. Garcia did have a fight plan for this, this boxing match. He said, you're going to try to make a miss and make him pay. He's going to bob and weave. And he patterns his style. I'm talking about George Garcia in the black trunks after great champions Ruben Olivares and Carlos Sarate. First two minutes of this fight belong to Patterson, who said he wanted to get off first, and that's what he's been able to do. Good body blow by Patterson. And back comes George Garcia hammering away at the midsection. Oh, big left hook by Patterson. Rock Garcia. And Garcia is hurt. The body shots are set, setting up the punches upstairs. Inside of 30 seconds in round number one. Patterson.
Anderson showing a little bit of punching power here in the opening frame. For our local cable systems, we'll pause now for these messages. Introducing Dynamic Carpet Care, Dallas-Fort Worth's best solution to soiled or stained carpeting and furniture. Dynamic Carpet will clean seven rooms of carpet for only $59.95. We'll satisfy you with top quality work at a very fair price. Unlike the competition, we're DuPont certified to clean your Stain Master products. Don't put it off when you can have your interiors looking new again right now. Just call Dynamic Carpet Care now. Call us at 406-0000 and experience for yourself the dynamic difference. There are many companies that offer TVs and appliances for rent, but Action TV and Appliance Rental has the friendliest people in town in over 10 years of honest, dedicated service to their thousands of customers. That's right. And right now, you can rent to own a beautiful remote color TV VCR stereo combo at Action for as low as $21.95 per week with no credit needed and service included. Call directory assistance for the Action location nearest you. When you call Action, that's exactly what you get. Welcome back to the Broome States. County Arena. We're in Binghamton, New York. Second round action. This fight for the NABF Super Bantamweight title, which was vacated when Jesus Salud of Mexico won a WBO title. Tonight, Patterson against Garcia for the belt. And between rounds, over in Tracy Harris Patterson's corner, his father, Floyd Patterson, telling him, throw combinations and move. Let's see if he follows directions. Now, they have been working on offsetting George Garcia with the jab, and he's coming out here in the second round with that left jab. Patterson was also telling him, Floyd, the father, telling Tracy, don't get in a hurry, just set him up with that jab, which he's doing here in the second round. Following instructions to the T, it is amazing how many fights are won and lost in the corner. And when you got a fighter like Floyd Patterson in your corner, he knows boxing. The former two-time world heavyweight champion. There's Floyd looking on, he's been all over the world this week. He was in Sweden, he was in Canada last night, but he made it to ringside for this fight. Tracy actually started at the age of 11, ran up a 90 and seven amateur career, included the New York Kid Gloves in 79, the New York Golden Gloves Championships, 119 pound title in 84, and the 225 pound title a year later. During his amateur career, uh, he was legally adopted by Floyd Patterson and picked up the name. Tracy Harris Patterson, nice left jab from him. Well, it's a heartwarming story, Sean, because Floyd Patterson himself, an aimless youth, before he was spotted by Customato, who took him, the product of a broken home under his wing, and taught him how to box like a champion. And then 10 years ago, the history, the story repeating itself. It's a beautiful story. By the way, Jesus Salud of Hawaii. A minute to go in the second round. This one's scheduled for 12. Patterson missing the big right hand. Now it's still early. We're only in the second round, but look who's coming forward in this fight. Look who, who it appears as though he is wanting to win this championship is Tracy Harris Patterson. On the other hand, in comparison, Garcia taking a step back. What he's trying to do is he's trying to make Patterson run into something. He's rocking back on his back foot, shifting the weight back there, and now he's going to try to set up Patterson while he's coming in. Patterson's jab is Chris. Right, and he's putting that jab out there. Some of those jabs are not landing, but look how Garcia's trying to wipe that jab away. It's keeping something in Garcia's face. Final second of the second round as Patterson continues to be the aggressor. We'll be back. Good night, Steve. Thanks, babe. We head to the third round. Patterson in the white. Garcia in the dark trunks. Garcia, not very active in that second round as Patterson was the one being the aggressor and he had to counter fight. And he, going the to up. he heard about that inactivity between rounds. In his corner, Jackie McCoy. That name sound familiar? McCoy's had Don Jordan, former world welterweight champ. Paul Rojas, Raul Rojas, Mondo Ramos, Rodolfo Gonzalez, Carlos Palomino. He knows uh, a lot of 
lot about boxing and he's been able to bring some good champions up. He thinks he's got a champion in Garcia. Between rounds, he's telling Garcia, get the jab busy and then try to drop the right hand. Let's see if Garcia listens to instruction. He said, also, Patterson is backing you up too much. You keep taking that half step back. Set, plant your feet, and then throw. Nice uppercut. The uppercut, the, the way Tracy, Tracy Harris Patterson leans over, that uppercut could be an effective weapon for George Garcia. Overhand right by Patterson didn't do much damage. Better round for Garcia. He's calling this his last hurrah. His claim to fame is that he won the California State, State Super Bantamweight title back in 86. But he sat out for two and a half years prior to 89. He had drug and alcohol problems. He is now a born-again Christian. He has cleaned up his life, and he's giving it one more shot. And he says he fights better now because he does not party. He uh, sticks to his training regiment. He puts his time in the gym. The things that you do in the gym pay off in the ring. Nice two left jabs from Tracy Harris Patterson. And a right hand by Patterson following the double jab. Garcia comes back and answers with his own right. Action picking up and this is the third round. Garcia getting off first a little bit more here in the third. And the third round is usually the round that really warms up these old veteran fighters. Now, I don't mean old because Tracy Harris Patterson I know is 25, George Garcia only 32. In boxing sense though, Garcia is a little bit over the hill. Athletes usually mature around 27, 28. Patterson the lightning quick left hand. And he's doubling up the jam, which is so much more effective. Inside of 30 seconds of the third round. Another solid jab by Patterson. Extremely effective with that left jab. And there's a right hand mixing things up beautifully. Terrific control is Tracy Harris Patterson. He's winning this fight with the left jab and landing the right hand. The Russian disappeared. Invisible. This thing could park a couple of hundred warheads off Washington and New York. Stolen. He's defecting. The Russians know this, which is why they've been trying to sink him for the past two days. The hunt is on. Now you want us to help you hunt him down and kill him. Battle stations. Give the man a chance. From the director of Die Hard. Torpedo is an acquisition. From the best-selling novel by Tom Clancy. We sail into history. The Hunt for Red October, March 2nd. Then it's Twinkies time. The golden sponge cake with creamy filling that... Still going. Nothing outlasts the Energizer. They keep going and going. Chocolate is scrumptious. Plenty crunches. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. That's why I Welcome back to the Broome County Arena in Binghamton, New York. I'm Bruce Beck, along with me, Sean O'Grady. We're in the fourth round of the scheduled 12-round bout for the NABF Super Bantamweight Championship. Tracy Harris Patterson in the white trunks, George Garcia in the black trunks. And it's been Patterson who's been so effective, especially with the jab. And likes to talk about the fight he lost to Stevie Cruz as the most important fight of his career. He lost a 10-round decision. Cruz, the former WBA featherweight champion, but Patterson went down in that fight in the eighth and came back and had one of his best rounds in the ninth. So he learned a lot about fortitude in that bout, and he also has prepared in the gym with what he learned. Exactly. What he learned in the gym, he said since then he learned that he, he needs to put his punches together. Stop looking for the one KO punch. And that's one of the things that Floyd Patterson in his corner has reiterated to him throughout these first three rounds. Don't look for that one shot. If you're looking for the knockout punch, you cannot find it. It's just got to be there. It's not natural, but it's instinctive. It's trained. Short chopping left landed effectively by Patterson. And he said when he fought Cruz, he knew now, he knew, I'm a pro. Patterson keeping Garcia backing up. When you have a loss 
just like that. For a young fighter like Patterson, it is impressive. And I think now he is just one step away from being the world champion. It's impressive that he comes back with so much vengeance and so much uh, vigor to try to get to the world championship. Scoring good here in this fourth round. It has been all Tracy Harris Patterson. Doubling up with the jab, adding a hook, throwing the right hand occasionally just to keep his opponent, Garcia, honest. Minute to go in the fourth. One thing Patterson hasn't done in this fight is go to the body much, as Garcia hammers away at Patterson's midsection. And this is a perfect fight for Patterson. What he wants to do is learn to win against a good... Now that left hook staggered Garcia. Garcia is hurt. Garcia in trouble again. Patterson elbow, trying to Tracy. set up that right, and he's getting a warning from Mercanti. He threw a little bit too much of that elbow that time. And Arthur Mercanti Jr. lets him know about it. Garcia does not want to get back into that corner. And Garcia has fallen into that mode of just waiting for Patterson to do something. Every time Patterson rushes him, then he throws some punches. He waits for Patterson, though. He's waiting for Patterson to score, and then he'll score back. Garcia with a couple good scores at the end of the round, but once again, it's Patterson who was the more aggressive fighter. Good round, Tracy. Tracy Harris Patterson, 121 and a half pounds, as we take a look at the 122 pound champs. We have Jesus Salud of Hawaii, Daniel Zaragoza of Mexico, I think is probably the best in the division. And here are the WBC Super Bantamweights under Zaragoza, and you see Patterson not far back. I don't want to pronounce the first five in that group. <laughs> you catch it very, very good. And you only throw a couple of punches at a time. But go to the belly and throw combinations. That's all. And if what you heard to the belly, that would be it. Go to the belly and throw combinations. Floyd Patterson telling his son, here's some of that action from that fourth round. The left jab starting to come on from Garcia. Round number five. Patterson 33 and 2, 24 KOs. Garcia 27, 4, 2 and 12 KOs. There's a chopping right hand, almost an overhand right. Later tonight, Bernard Taylor and Calvin Grove for Grove's USBA Junior Lightweight title, scheduled for 12. We'll see you later on USA. Patterson landing a right, and showing his efficiency has been outstanding. He's not wasting punches. And you know, these two super bantamweights have the same reach at 66 inches. Why is it that Garcia is allowing Patterson to outreach him? He's getting inside. I'll tell you why. It's because Patterson is stepping in with his left jab. Garcia is not. In fact, Garcia is just leaning out, waiting for Patterson to run into something. There are some hooks by Garcia, finally. And those body they, blows, they'll stay with you for a couple of rounds. Exactly, and they have begged for Garcia to get busy over there in his corner. Patterson doing his work upstairs now. Feeling the effects of the time off is George Garcia. You get the feeling that Patterson's trying to load up for a big right. Some swelling underneath both eyes from George Garcia. Perhaps from those left jabs right straight down the pipe from Patterson. Garcia's getting that right hand through and he landed it right on the button of Patterson. Another one. Now that's the best thing Garcia's got. I mean, if he's gonna throw some punches, then he can keep Patterson busy with those punches. He doesn't have a lot of power, but if he puts them out there, he'll score. Watch the elbow now, that's three. Watch right, the elbow, now. Morning. that's the third time. Patterson doesn't want to lose a point, but he might be in danger of doing so if it continues with that elbow. A uh, right hand that nailed the button again. Now that is schooling from Patterson. You see how high he holds his right hand when his left hand is working? That doesn't come naturally. You have to work on that. That comes from hours in the gym. 
Both of the hands up. You know, a little bit of the image of his dad there. Exactly. You, know, can you look at the custom auto fighters, and all of them have those basics down real good. Patterson eats a right hand there. But uh, you look at Mike Tyson. He keeps those hands up nicely. His elbows in, as does, as did Floyd, and as does Tracy. That was a bombing right hand by Patterson. Fifth round drawing to a close. We'll come back to Binghamton, New York in a moment. We're 200 miles northwest of New York City, 70 miles south of Syracuse in Binghamton, New York. We're headed to the sixth round of this NABF Super Bantamweight title fight. Patterson has been dominating over George Garcia. Patterson of the white trucks. Good right hand by Patterson, follows it up with that short left uppercut. And there was a cut that opened up in that last round, the fifth round, over the left eye of Carlo, I mean, George Garcia. Jackie McCoy telling Garcia, throw that right hand, you can't miss him. The reason he's saying that is because when Tracy Patterson moves in, he moves to his left, shifting all the weight over to his left foot and dropping his left hand just a tiny bit. There's the right hand that worked. Even when he carries his hands, you can see him there. He keeps that left a little bit low. Patterson going for the title, the NABF title. He's ranked number nine by the IBF, number six by the WBC. He's lost only twice to Stevie Cruz and Jeffrey Franklin. And this is an important fight as he continues to, what you would have to say, rise. Although he's been knocked down a couple of times on that trail to glory. Exactly. In this round, you can see, Bruce, Garcia trying to rise. What Patterson's having to do is beat Garcia back down. He can beat him down in that mode that he had him in in the third round. Garcia's trying to throw some punches in this round. He's got to put him back in his shell. There's a right hand by Patterson that landed, though. Garcia's right hand has been his best punch in the fight. Now he's throwing some jabs, and that will keep Patterson at bay. It might reverse things a little bit if Tracy's not getting off first, because when he doesn't, he doesn't seem to be nearly as effective, Sean. When Patterson isn't getting off that first punch, he doesn't seem nearly as convincing. Yeah, and hopefully he's not falling into the trap that, that Garcia's fallen into, waiting for his opponent to do something. Patterson still, though, effective with that left jab. 30 seconds to go in the sixth round. Looks like a low blow there by Garcia, but no warning from Mercanti. Good short right by Garcia. Left didn't do any damage. And Garcia now is just where Patterson wants him. Patterson now, at this point, can do anything he wants to. And he is. Well, for our local cable systems, we'll pause now for these messages. Here it is, Dallas's best selection of used cars and trucks, and they're only at Ralph Thomas's Love Ford. So get on down here today for the best bargains in the Metroplex. Like this 1984 Dodge Omni for only $24.99, or this 4084 Audi 5000 for just $28.99. How about an 86 Dodge Charger for only $29.99? We move to the seventh of this 12-round NABF Super Bantamweight title Thanks, fight. Steve. Sean O'Grady, do you think that George Garcia's quality of his opponents, the likes of Richard Sandoval and Gilberto Roman, his experience is keeping him in this fight? Absolutely, but his quality of opponents, all those wonderful fighters, but all of those fighters, they box a different style than Tracy Harris Patterson boxes. Styles make fights. All of those other fighters, the Sandovals, all come toward you. They come right after you. You can hit them, you know, with a lot of punches. They'll fight back, but you can hit them as, as you want. Garcia is a good boxer, but when he has a fighter who's got so much movement, like Tracy Harris Patterson does, he doesn't know what to do with him. Plus, he's feeling the effects of uh, the 32 years old, the time off. Tracy Harris Patterson, one of the few fighters I've ever heard of, dropping down in weight after the fight with Stevie Cruz. He decided to move down. That was a featherweight fight. 
126 pounds, he decided to move down to the super bantamweight division, 122 pound maximum. And he says he's much stronger there and feels more comfortable, and that's where he's going to stay for a while. Exactly, and what you want to do is you want to have any kind of advantage you can get over your opponent. If you're bigger than your adversary, hopefully you can take control like he's taking control of this fight. He is bigger as a 122 pounder than he is at 126 pounder in comparison with the other fighters. He's five foot five, he weighed in today at 121 and a half pounds, has a 66 inch reach. I'm talking about Tracy Harris Patterson in the white trunks with the blue stripes. Garcia has slowed the tempo here a bit in the seventh round. He's getting in some punches and Patterson's taking a little bit of a breather. About a minute to go in the seventh round, scheduled for 12. Good little uppercut by Garcia. Patterson's been on his motorcycle most of the fight. And there's another solid jab. He's getting back to the jab now. Exactly, and that is the most important weapon in boxing. You can jab any time during a fight and land with it. Or if, even if you don't clean. land with it, it's still, it's still effective because it keeps your opponent busy. Tracy. punches are really having a lot of effect on the face of George Garcia. Both eyes are swelled up. He's got a little nick over the left eye, and he's hit on it right again. Boom. The bell can save the fighter only in the last round of the NABF. Seconds winding down in the seventh. Hi. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for a Cherokee. Right this way. This is an Isuzu Trooper. It's a much better buy. It is? The Trooper has four-wheel disc brakes. Cherokee doesn't. I didn't know that. The Trooper has more cargo space. Really? And sells for about a thousand bucks less. You're kidding. Here, take a test drive. Sure is lucky I ran into you. Oh. I wouldn't call it luck. Now, generous factory cash could mean big savings on a Trooper during Isuzu's sale into the 90s. It was Thursday. Coming home from the theater, it started. At Meineke, we can't always tell what's wrong with a car by the sound of the customer. But the importance of that uh, left jab is shown here from Patterson. Those are left hooks there. Nice on the inside, tight. The elbow comes right off that left rib from Patterson. Good work, nice schooling. We're in the eighth now, scheduled for 12. Patterson looking for his 34th win. Garcia in the corner looked much more disenchanted at the end of that round. He looked tired. He seemed, he seemed as though he was ready to go. Exactly. And, and one of the things that the seizing nice right hand, Tracy Harris Patterson, one of the things the seasoning gets you is to learn when your opponent is ready to go. Nice. Garcia goes down. Canty counts out the numbers. Seven, eight, nine, ten. He's not going to get up. It's over. Eighth round. Stoppage by Tracy Harris Patterson. And he captures the NABF Super Bantamweight title. You like that? Not only the timing of your punches, but also the timing of your opponent. If you see it, the seasoning comes when you learn when your opponent is ready to go and you go in and close the show. We were talking between rounds, Bruce, about it's time for Tracy Harris Patterson to go ahead and clean up Garcia. Garcia was looking away. He was ready to be taken out of this fight. Tracy Harris Patterson helped him out. Garcia looked over to his corner when he was on the canvas, trying to get an idea from them, should he get up or should he not get up? And he made the decision far too late, and he was counted out. It was far too late, but I had Patterson winning every round. He was comfortably ahead. We'll come back to Binghamton, New York, for the official announcement of Tracy Patterson's victory. Stay with us. I just did something in the ring, and our announcer, Ron Del Bueno. After one minute, 55 seconds of the eighth round, referee Arthur McKenzie stops the bout 
the winner by knockout and new NABF Super Bantamweight Champion, Tracy Harris Patterson. It's official. Patterson will get his very first belt. And he hopes it's the start of leading him to a world championship. We'll take a break and we'll come back and talk with Tracy Harris-Patterson in just a moment.